guys, how is it going? And welcome back to the adventure. And today we are off for an FA Cup adventure between Wimbledon and Chesterfield. Now, thank you very much to Jarkits and Wimbledon for sending to me to this game. I'm very, very excited. It is the first time that I've been sat corporate, so it's going to be amazing. And obviously, there could be a cup upset anywhere. So if you are enjoying the adventure, make sure to smash a like on the video and subscribe down below for so many more videos and lots more football shorts and vlog content. Right, time to get on to Wimbledon. Let's go. Okay, so we've made it inside the Cherry Red Record Stadium for AFC Wimbledon versus Chesterfield in the FA Cup. Am I expecting an upset? Anything can happen, to be honest. Obviously, Wimbledon are third, third favourites. Uh, we've just done a little bit of a golden goal, me and Yaz. Uh, we've got uh, 55th and 71st minutes, so hopefully we're going to get a goal in that. Uh, but yeah, really nice, impressive stadium. Never been here before, so obviously checking out the hospitality as well. Thank you very much for Jarkit uh, for sorting us out today. Uh, but yeah, great experience so far. Looking forward to the game. Here come the team. We get a kick off fake already to start off this game. So well, here we go. Round three at stake. Wimbledon or Chesterfield. There we go. Let's go. Then goalkeeper as well. Now the flag goes up. We got no VAR today, so interesting that that flag went up as late as it did. That we're 15 minutes into the game and I'm surprised we've got no VAR and that flag went up very late. It did look offside, but both teams keeping the ball well but not really causing any chances in the final third. Uh, Chesterfield looked good on their left-hand side. Um, good game so far? Well, first big play of the game, it was whipped in and there was Quigley, his first chance of the game and he somehow managed to make the header. I thought the cross was a little bit short for him. Great save by the Wimbledon goalkeeper. Best chance of the game so far and it's come to Chesterfield. Call the same. Awesome. And they're the ones making the noise inside the Cherry Red Record Stadium today, the Chesterfield fans. He's still down here. Oh. The final product just hasn't been at it today. Good cross might fall. Unlucky, fell from Wimbledon. Approaching the end of the first half. There's not really been a lot of action, uh, but Joe Quigley had the best chance for Chesterfield. It was the cross that happened before. Well, I didn't think he'd get the header, and he made uh, a really good effort for it. And it was a good save for the Wimbledon goalkeeper. Wimbledon have looked dangerous uh, down there, left hand side, but haven't really created any chances. Crosses have been going way, way over the players in the penalty area. And uh, yeah, it's just a bit lackluster, but one goal can change everything, as per the FA Cup knows. From Chesterfield just before half time as well. That's a great ball into the box and it's a goal, it's 1-0. It's a great ball. They deserve that. Well, Chesterfield have got the lead just before half time as well. Uh, but Isaac Agundere was fouled for me on the right hand side and he's just got a yellow card for descent. Ball was played in, they created the goal really well, Chesterfield. But for me, that's a foul, and Wimbledon are unlucky. But Chesterfield have been good for their lead, to be fair to them. Okay, so then half time at the Cherry Red Record Stadium. Fantastic stadium, by the way, I will cover that at full time. And it is AC Wimbledon nil. Chesterfield won and they've been good for their lead however the goal didn't come about without controversy well it was starting on the right hand side for Chesterfield and Isaac Oganderry was clearly fouled for me and most of the supporters inside the stadium referee decided to play on it was a great little move and it was put in by Armando Dobra who gave Chesterfield the lead great scenes in the away end for them and for the travelling sets of fans but controversy about the goal absolutely 
In terms of Wimbledon going forward, I think Harry Pell has been the player that they need to target. He's a big lad in the middle of the park and he seems to be working it. But it's very slack for Wimbledon. Uh, they've been coming down the left-hand side a lot, but the crosses have just been going over everybody. And Chesterfield are good for their lead. They deserve that goal before our time. We're going to go in. We're going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a cuisine, a little bit of Sprite uh, in our lounge. Yeah, great experience so far. Half-time, Wimbledon nil. Chesterfield one. Can the Chessie hold on? Well, Chesterfield are in here. Let's play the cards, all right? This could be the second. And they're appealing for a ball. No bar, though. It's a good cross. Oh, that's got to be. That's got to go in. Best chance of the game. And it fell. We've got best chance of the game now for Wimbledon. It's a magical and a free kick. It's fantastic. What ball? Harry Pell was there, completely unmarked. Missed the ball. That's got to go in from there in this type of games. We're at, we're at lead two, yeah, that's right. I can't believe that chance come out. I love it. Take on Chesterfield again. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of corner. Well, same story as the first half. Chesterfield dominating and just, just keep getting into great areas, having a couple of set pieces. Wimbledon can't get out. Well, I just think I've seen one of the worst misses ever. It was brilliantly flicked on and Harry Pell got into a fantastic position and it looked harder to miss than it was to score. And also it was on the 71st minute, which me, I know there's already been a goal, but they also pay out for the second goal as well. And Yaz would have won. She had the 71st <laughs> minute and Harry Pell to score. <laughs> oh, so unlucky. Couldn't have got any closer. I wish I got it on footage, but you see it on the highlights. It was so close and he should have bagged it. Oh my God. What an unbelievable goal! It, came, he, it looked like he was going to cross it, but he's gone straight into the back of the net. And the Chessie fans are going absolutely mental. Oh my god, what a goal that was! I missed it, but unbelievable! Well, that was definitely a cross. I've done one of those in my time as well, playing football. It was definitely a cross. It's just gone straight into the back of the net. Jeff King, take a bow, and that's surely Chesterfield through. What a, what a goal! Well, there's only one set of fans cheering and celebrating, and I bet they're really enjoying their day out in Wimbledon. It just sums it up, really. The final ball, not been good enough. Easy defending for Chesterfield today. They're in again here. Tough. Tough block. They're absolutely having a field day, Chesterfield on the wings. They're just absolutely loving it. They're just that slight tackle there, just going past players, left, right and centre. It's been so easy for them. They could easily survive the lead two. And it's about a time, five minutes really, to put Wimbledon out of their misery and have Chesterfield. I'd love them to welcome or go to a Premier League team, and I'm sure they would as well. But for Wimbledon, I mean, 10 match unbeaten run coming to an end. Disappointing for them, but obviously their sole focus is going to be on the league and getting back to League One. This Saturday, So there we go then, full time at the Cherry Red Record Stadium and it is Chesterfield who are going through to round three and I'll be keeping an eye on the draw and I hope they draw a Premier League club. The fans have been absolutely excellent from start to finish as well, fair play to them and King adding a stunning second goal. Come on, it was a cross, deep down it was a cross. It was a cross field ball from the right hand side, completely went over the goalkeeper. You just knew it was in from the moment that he would hit it. Of course he'll say it was a shot. But it was a fantastic goal, nevertheless. And Chesterfield are in the hat for round three. Congratulations to them. This by the stairs down to the top from the west end. 13. Unfortunately, my phone crashed uh, at the end of the game there. So I didn't get an outro. But I got pretty much everything done. So fortunately, thanks. Uh, thank you for my phone for not crashing out. Anyway, thank you very much to sponsors Jar Kits for sending me to the game. Make sure to check them out. Link is in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe down below for lots more adventures. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.